Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Redstone 5 which is build 17723 uh, released to the fast ring today uh, July the 25th so it's been um, installed and working uh, for the past couple of hours here uh, first of course delivery usual download and install time pretty much matching what I expect from this old Core i3 machine. So the uh, pre-install uh, phase that is, you know, uh, decompression and just putting all the files to uh, make it ready to install. Typical about three hours and um, two hours and a half, three hours, and then a uh, quick install phase of maybe 40 minutes at most, 45 minutes. Uh, of course, works well. The install went well without any problems, any glitches. Uh, what's new in here? Well, this is interesting because now, um, today, there's two builds. There's a skip ahead, 18204, and there's this one, which is on Redstone 5. Now, the skip ahead and this one have the same features today. There's like nothing, there's a, a few new things, but you can't go crazy over, you know, totally. Um, really amazing things um, that are different because it's just a start. So, um, of course, I'll talk about 18204 tomorrow. I'll post a video about it on the Insider channel. What's new in this release? So, first of all, this release now becomes RS5 release branch, which is it's getting ready to be launched uh, in not that far of a time, actually. Thinking that, you know, the September, October time period where this should happen is pretty much what's gonna gonna happen here um, in the new features in here uh, first of all mixed reality flashlight so um, what, what's happening is if you are using mixed reality what's gonna happen is that you know sometimes you want to grab a cup of coffee you want to do something and what happens is that um, you of course don't see anything and it's kind of difficult so there's like a new uh, flashlight environment where you can actually um, you know check out and, and, and do whatever you want to do uh, without basically you know jumping or, or, or like you know falling because you bam bumped into something that you didn't see where in the headset uh, there's new Microsoft Edge group policies so if you are an IT guy and I you know IT administrator you can now manage Microsoft Edge policies. Then it enables, uh, includes enabling, disabling full screen mode, printing, uh, favorites bars, saving history, and so on. Uh, you can override some settings. You can, you know, uh, configure the home button, the startup options, so that, um, you know, the, the experience is what you want people to, to see. Um, so the Microsoft Edge policies are now there to basically just let you go through all of this. So um, this is nice for people that, you know, are AT and, and want to control the environment. Um, retired XSS filter. So they're retiring the XSS filter in the Microsoft Edge beginning today. Uh, because there's other standards now like that, that con content security policy and so on which means that you know there's more powerful and more better ways to simply you know manage security emoji 11 so there's new emojis uh, if you are the kind of person that likes emojis i still don't use and don't really want to use honestly any um any uh of the, the emoji stuff but if you want to, if you want to see emojis, uh, there's tons of new emojis with uh, the new emoji um, 11 version that has been added. So um, if you, of course you get to the emoji stuff, there's so much new stuff in here that you can go through and uh, basically you know just enjoy and um, you know have fun playing with emojis that I still you know don't really use much I is the kind of thing I use you know if I'm in um, if, if if I'm in the text mode or stuff like that but I don't use that every day and you know basically never really touch it so there's new little emojis 
that you can check out. Uh, time accuracy and traceability improvements. So um, now when you actually have uh, the time settings, first of all, there's a um, leap second support, which is available. Uh, so that means that that occasional, uh, roughly every 18 months, we have a um, leap second that's added because Earth slows down in its rotation. Um, so that will be adjusted and um, done in a compliant manner with universal time. Precision time protocol for highest accuracy environment. We will now have a more precise way of getting really the most precise time settings that you can uh, in your time uh, check of windows and you know you might say well you know I don't see why I should have all of that time so precise and well you know there are applications including I've got applications that are um, very sensitive to the time so honestly I personally think that it's um, important important uh, to um, to check it out and uh, to have you know a cured time and you know we have computers plugged to the internet now why aren't we able to you know have precise times um, on our PCs improve kiosk setup experience so uh, you know sometimes you maybe you have a booth and you want to set up a PC that will do just one task so that people do that task only and you block everything else it's you know the kiosk experience um, so they've kind of improved that apparently people were a lot of people were finding it kind of difficult to set it up like that if you go to um, accounts and settings family and other users you will see something called set up a kiosk and it says set up this device as a kiosk this could be a digital sign an interactive display or public browser among other things and you get started and you control totally totally what you will be doing and what will be permitted and what apps are possible and, and so on so there's a lot of stuff so digital interactive signage public browsing if you want to do so um, all sorts of modes the normal mode and um, all sorts of little things like that that are available you know I'll, I'll be checking that out and I'll be playing around with these settings and setting it up as a kiosk uh, just to kind of you know show you the possibilities at some point so Stay tuned to the Insider channel, we will show you there. And, uh, you know, as we get these uh, options workable on the regular um, Windows 10, we'll also check it out from there also. Improved update experience. So, they've, uh, you know, how many times have you been annoyed at, okay, it's time to update. You know, yesterday there was a very funny moment. I was at a restaurant and all the screens that were showing the restaurant menus and so it was like a, you know, PowerPoint of, uh, showing off the different uh, foods and, and, and things that they offer at the restaurant. And right smack in the middle of every screen was there's a important update to be made. Do you want to update now or wait later? And I mean, you know, I, I was there for an hour and a half and for an hour and a half it was, it was like that. Uh, so the update experience is now going to use uh, cloud logic and a certain a way of actually viewing what you possibly are doing with your PC so that when it wants to update it won't bother you while you're working at it it won't bother you it will try to learn if for example you haven't used your PC in 15 minutes are you away and I can update now or is it just that you've gone to pick up a cup of coffee or some food and you're coming back so apparently this is a learning experience. That means as you use your device, it will learn more and more about you and will more and more show all of this um, to, you know, and have it working the best way they can. So uh, kind of interesting. And uh, finally, the last little thing is game bar improvements. Uh, they've made it a little easier to have the game bar run and work better i don't know if you guys can see the the game bar right now a lot of people say that when the game bars there uh you don't see it so it's possible you can't see it right now but i have a, the game bar experience which is so much more um interesting and and better than it was before 
so it's uh, kind of easier to set up and to use. Um, also, you know, before you had to go to the game bar and have game mode, and you have it was kind of a little weird to get the game bar on. You had to, you know, uh, tell the uh, PC, well, yeah, this is a game, this is not a game. And it's like, now it just pops up, and that's it. Um, lots of fixed issues, of course, that's for sure but lots of broken stuff so there's really tons of uh, things that are working but there's tons of known issues so um, there's a lot of little things in there that that are problematic uh, so make sure that um, you um, you know just are careful about um, you know if you have problems or something it, it's possible there's really a lot of problems in this uh, um, a build of course you know and it's normal this is still beta and we're still a couple of months off the official release so uh, you know all of this is uh, work being worked on and they, they did a lot of fixes also when you look at the the bug fixes so um, it seems to be like a very stable build for me everything seems to work pretty pretty good and um, I don't know about your experience so why not let us know what you think how is your experience and how well did it work for you uh, let me know and you know post in the comments if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching